Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 3 of numerical integration. In today's class, we are going to see Weddell's method under numerical integration. Okay, so till now we have covered Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's three eighth rule, correct? Now today we are going to see what is this Weddell's method and when should we use it, okay? Okay, fine. So one question is if we already have Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's three eighth rule, so what is the need of Weddell's method, right? Why should we integrate using Weddell's method? So Weddell's method is the most accurate method okay so in our day-to-day -day life problem we generally we prefer to use Weddell's method for numerical integration if those integrations are not possible using analytical method but Weddell's method is applicable when the data whatever is given to us if you can partition this data in six equal parts okay or multiple of six equal parts so Weddell's method is very good method for that since we have covered enough theory behind numerical integration, the concept, the reason, right? So today for Weddell's method, we will directly start the question and right now we are going to see the formula of Weddell's method, okay? Fine, so this is your Weddell's method. Formula looks little complicated, but still you can easily memorize this formula. So what we are writing down here, so this formula says that this I integration is 3 by 10 H. What is H? we have seen right so h is the length of each and every equal partition fine knows whatever data set is given to you suppose this is your x right and this is your y y is function of x we have covered this complete table kind so this is your x naught this is your x1 this is your x n and based on that you have got this is your y naught this is your y1 and this is your y n right so this is called as the ordinate fine Ordinate is what? If you are partitioning the given data set into n parts, right? So n plus 1 ordinates will be present. So this is your very first partition. This is your second partition. This is third partition. This is your fourth partition. So how many ordinates are given? So this is your first ordinate, correct? This is your second ordinate. This is your third ordinate. This is your fourth ordinate and this is your fifth ordinate. Fine. And what is this H? So H is the distance between X0 and X1 or you can say that the length of each and every ordinate is your H. Fine. So that means X1 is X0 plus H and X2 is X1 plus H and so on. Fine. So this is your H. H is the width or length of each and every partition. All partitions are equal. So the formula says that 3 by 10 H into you can see that the formula is little longer even it is keep on going on fine so before starting Weddell's rule the partition which I have done the example what I have given you can you tell that which method is applicable in this type of question so Simpson's one third rule will be applicable here right now here you cannot use in this type of question where you are going to do four partitioning or or you are going to have five ordinate you will not able to use Simpson's 3 8th rule even you will not able to use Weddell's rule fine so so Simpson's one third rule is applicable for if n is multiple of 2 4 is multiple of 2 fine and if n is multiple of 3 then we use Simpson's 3 8th rule and if n is multiple of 6 or 6 then we can use even Simpson's one third rule 3 8th rule or Weddell's rule right and Weddell's method is the most perfect method fine okay so what the method says us so this is the formula for if n is multiple of 6 so to understand the formula we have to memorize this sequence 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 if it is easier to memorize 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 so this formula will be much easier so okay so what we are going to do here i am going to write 3 by 10 h how we used to write in simpson's 1 third or 3 8 rule 1 by 3 or 3 by 8 here we are going to write 3 by 10 h fine no now we have written down here 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 we will keep on writing okay 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 we will keep on writing we will keep on writing it okay fine so what is happening now fine now what i am going to do i mean in between everywhere i have to add we have to write the plus sign always 
after each and every number i am going to write the plus sign okay fine now what i am going to do so i am writing down here y not okay y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 so till y6 uh, so after y6 i little stop here why because we have said that n is 6 or n is multiple of 6 if n is 6 so what will be ordinate ordinate will n plus 1 that is 7 fine no that means here you will see that total 7 ordinates are written down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 fine so then you can write them in one bracket one set is ready fine now again you are going to write down in the next series so this complete thing will be covered under another series so here what i am going to do we will start with y6 here we stopped at y6 now i am starting with y6 okay y6 y7 y8 okay y8 y9 y10 y11 y12 fine so you'll see that the difference between them is always 6 the difference between them difference between what y0 and y6 they are distant by 6 ordinate similarly similarly y1 and y7 the distance between them is 6 ordinate here also 6 ordinate and so on and then another trick is what y0 then it will be y6 then it will be your y12 fine and then here also y6 y12 it will over here y18 fine so what i have done here i just have memorized 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 okay and then here i am writing down 3 by 10 h okay now plus sign is there that is okay that i have to do in each and every cases okay now what i am going to do i am starting from y not very extreme ordinate y not y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and then y6 okay but if they have given in the question that n is 6 only okay n is not multiple of 6 n is 6 only then you have to stop here because you don't have any ordinate called y7 you don't have any ordinate called y8 so you don't have to use them fine so you will stop here only so same thing is written here that n is 6 then we have Weddell's rule this is simplified rule so same thing we have done 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 and then the formula is ready so this way we can memorize Weddell's formula here is the limit given to you there is nothing but the definite integral of y dx and the limits are extreme x naught right and then x naught plus 6 h the same thing what we have said here the distance between them is 6 h is the length of each and every equal partition fine now this is the question use Weddell's rule to compute the area bounded by the curve y equals fx fine so they have given us that y is the function of x then x axis and the extreme ordinates from the following table okay that means if you can uh, you can visualize what they have given some curve we don't know right we don't know what is the curve if we will fit the value but they are saying that between x axis and extreme ordinates you can say that extreme ordinate is actually zero so here right here x is zero and x is suppose this is six between x naught till x six okay and then and then y equals fx so they are asking you to find the area under this curve for that we are going to use Weddell's rule because here we can see that the partitions are six this is first partition second partition third fourth fifth and sixth partition is there so the data is given us okay so ordinates are seven fine now we are going to write down the formula of Weddell's rule and then just we will be putting the value formula just now we have discussed 3 by 10 h and then we are going to write down only 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 okay and then plus sign is there in between and then just write down uh, y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 you don't have to go after that because after y6 fine no this is your y naught this is your y6 after y6 nothing is given to you so stop here after that you don't have to write plus and all stop here only so in this y naught we are going to write down 0 in this y1 you are going to write down 2 and so on fine and what is your h 
right what is your h so you can see that h is 1 only fine okay so we are going to see here between 0 to 6 y dx is nothing but all those values we have written down here and this is your 3 by 10 h h is 1 and then y not and everything you just have written down the the value what they have given and you got the answer okay this is area so whatever unit has been given to you it is square of that unit fine okay now this is the second question a plane is bounded by a curve okay the x axis so curve is your something suppose y equals fx x axis and two extreme ordinates fine one extreme is we are going to give the name x naught other the last ordinate we are going to say x n we will come to know what is the n the area is divided into six figures by equidistant ordinates two inches apart many things they have given us first thing is the partition n is the partition six the area is divided into six figures okay by equidistant ordinate equidistant ordinate is two inches apart that means the width between equidistant ordinates is 2. So, h is 2. Fine. The heights of the ordinates. Heights of the ordinate is what? y equals fx. Okay. x is what? x is x0 till xn. Okay. And the heights of the ordinate which is your y. y is function of x. The functions are your y0. You are starting very first ordinate is y0 last ordinate will be your y6 okay and how it is y0 this is your y1 this is your y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 fine no total 7 are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 fine find the appropriate value of the area by numerical integration since this is divided into six figures so we are so we can use so we can use Weddell's rule fine so we are going to we are going to just write down the values there what we are going to do for Weddell's rule integration will be what 3 by 10 h h is 2 fine no now what we are going to write 1 5 1 6 1 5 1 and then in between plus sign you are going to write down you don't have to go even further you are you have to write here y naught what is your y naught you are going to write down 21.65 here y1 here y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and whatever value you are getting this is your answer so fine so this is only is written here fine so this is your Weddell's rule okay so if you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you